guys, welcome to my channel where we talk about all things ooky spooky for your viewing pleasure. My name is Ada and today I have another spooky story for you. So grab a snack, relax, turn the lights off and light a candle. Also just side note because it's been a, a few months since I made that last video and it's been really inconsistent and um, I just want to remind myself that you know that everything that I do is for my own mental health and so not to make things super stressful for myself so this is something that I enjoy if I'm feeling it. Um, unfortunately it's just been a tough time recently with um there's just a lot of stuff going on i mean i moved and i got a new job and i had to adjust to living by myself and um it's it's been a ride it's been a wild ride but we're here now we got a little bit of a schedule going on um i feel a little bit more uh like i have a routine and it just feels safe and calm for me so i can sit down and talk about things that i actually want to talk about but I'm here and my creative juices are flowing and I'm just, we're gonna, we're gonna create, we're gonna create now. Let me apologize because I uh, got this brought to my attention, but I just cannot figure things out on my own sometimes. Um, I tend to forget things uh, in the middle of a sentence. I'll just like forget what I was saying and then I'll end the sentence. And then so I was in the middle of, of saying something and people were like, and then what? Cause I ended the video. I'm so sorry. I don't mean to leave anyone hanging. I just, um, my brain, my mind just, you know. I guess I really thought that uh, not having a script would work because I, I you know, I mean, I've, I've done it before, but there was just so much that I wanted to talk about that it was just not possible to not have a script. So I wrote a script for today. <laughs> today is a new day. I recently moved to Baltimore, Maryland, and um, a lot of, just being the thrill seeker that I am and plus I, I've made some friends here, but um, I'm kind of a loner and I like to isolate myself. So I, I've just been doing a lot of reading um, about like haunted places in Maryland that I wanted to explore uh, just because I want to get scared. So I don't really know the area. I've found a few places and then I have some local friends that are willing to go with me. Um, you know, I, I want to be as safe as possible because you never know, young woman out in the woods by herself. So um, I, thankfully I have some really great friends that are willing to go with me and not just willing, but like excited and want to go with me to explore these places. The Jericho Covered Bridge is a bridge that was built in Kingsville, Maryland. It was built in 1865, so it was actually a little bit after the Civil War ended. Um, this bridge was, was built, and it was originally built for horse and carriage, so it's very, very small. Um, it's actually just one car at a time, so you gotta do that thing where you yield to the person coming you know, when you get to the bridge. And it's, it's a functioning bridge right now, it's so people use it. And, you know, when, when you go, you got to be mindful about people, you know, still wanting to cross the bridge and having to move out of the way. The bridge is between Baltimore and Hartford Camp. How, how, uh, uh, the bridge is, <laughs> I don't even know why I'm laughing. The bridge is between Baltimore and Hartford Can County. I can't talk. Uh, Baltimore, Hartford County. They split the cost uh, to build this bridge and which at the time was three thousand one hundred and twenty five dollars so some remodeling has been done to the bridge in like the 30s the 80s and then in 2015 um, a, a new roof was put on and then these new steel beams were attached just to help with uh, heavier vehicles crossing the bridge um, but for the most part it actually has kept a lot of the original pieces when you go here this is the the tradition this is the ritual from what I have read. So you go there and you have to stop in the middle of the bridge. You turn off all your lights and then you just kind of sit there and see what happens. And so what people have reported is to see uh, dangling feet from the top of the bridge, like hanging, hanging from the beams. And that's because supposedly this is where they would hang, where they would, they would lynch slaves that were run away and servants um, that this is where they would lynch them. 
which is really, really sad. Really, really sad. Really grim. Now, I, at first I had thought that I wasn't going to go to the bridge, but then I decided that, you know, what, what better way than to explore it? Because, uh, to tell a story, you know, because, um, like I said, I was, I, I didn't have a whole lot of friends, but now I've met more people that will actually go with me, um, which is my main concern. I don't want to be somewhere out late at night by myself, you know, necessarily not the smartest thing to do. So I have found friends that will actually go to these places with me. And I actually ended up going to the Jericho covered bridge with my friend. He told me that, you know, they, they would go to the bridge all the time when, when he was a kid. Um, so, you know, he, he was familiar with the area and familiar with the legend and the story. I took video, of course. He had stories to tell me um, about, you know, his experiences. I didn't have anything weird happen. Um, it was definitely a weird vibe, I will say. Like, it just felt very sad. Like, I, I don't know, you know, when you explore these places sometimes, um, especially the places where there's where there's been a lot of tragedy um, you kind of feel this like sadness or just like heavy feeling like this sinking feeling and I think in the video I described it as like when you're at the top of a roller coaster and you're about to go down and you look down and you get this like feeling in your stomach that's how it felt approaching the bridge and we were in the car we were just kind of just like talking about other things um, kind of like forgetting like that we were on a mission to do this. We just were talking and then I started feeling like, you know, kind of rough, like my stomach started feeling really heavy. Um, but other than that, there was any there was nothing else that I experienced um, there. Like I said before, it is a working bridge. So people were definitely, you know, driving by and we had to move out of the way. So maybe that took away from it, too. But um, we did, you know, go to the middle of the bridge and turn off all the lights. And then also my friend said that they just recently added some like other like street lights and stuff. Cause it's really dark. Like it's in the middle of the woods. It's really dark. Okay. So we just got to Jericho bridge and we're stopped in the middle of the bridge, uh, with the lights off traditionally but I'll okay so first of all on our way down here I I started feeling like you know how like when you go down a roller coaster and you feel that in your stomach I felt that on our way here and it's crazy because we were having a whole nother conversation about something unrelated and but I felt that that feeling and I'm a little shaky right now but um nothing crazy so far i'll show you around you have to keep an eye out for cars because people do live back here unfortunately <laughs> um another weird thing i don't know if this is related or not but like my phone won't charge but my phone was charging in my car just fine and <laughs> it's not dead almost dead but if this is cut short that's why definitely some legitimate paranormal experiences at, at both locations especially this one um you know there was always the the story and and with a little bit i think of historical proof that i mean um you know slaves were hung from the bridge um again that's where i think a, a lot of the uh, i guess like significant experiences of so cars actually do pass through here, um, so we have to move for a second. Um, Austin was under the impression that it had been torn down, and when we got here, it wasn't. So I, we were both really excited. Um, whew, as we move away, because people live back here. So is there another way out, or do you have yeah. to go that way? Well, you have to kind of like get go out. through. So here, actually, I'll show you the neighborhood, too. My camera, my phone was acting up. My phone camera was acting up. And, okay, we're good. I couldn't figure out, maybe my brain is just dead, but no, I couldn't figure out how to, like, it wasn't turning. Really? <laughs> yeah, like, I was, you know how I was, like, filming myself? 
Yeah. I was trying to film in front of me and it would not turn. Like I kept pressing the button, it just would not turn. But okay, so hold on. We're just um, going in a circle. Oh no, this is gonna be a minute. Like if we have to go up and around, like you'll see, like, oh, this, okay. this backs up to a neighborhood that's completely dead out. Oh, gotcha, okay. So yeah, this is, oh, this one is- One way in, one way out. Wow. Fucking terrifying. That's- <laughs> That deep in the thing. So this is where the glue factory is. Look at it, it's all fucking overgrown. Yeah, oh wow. Crazy overgrown, like especially in the past. Well, it's actually been a while. Also, there's a full moon. Yeah. And it was big and beautiful yeah. on our way here. So there's all these like historical like colonial style homes back here. Oh wow. So you could do with, like weeping willows and at least I don't know, just something about this neighborhood is always just like creepy. I, for sure, especially that first house. Yeah. And then this house, I don't like the lights yeah. in the windows. Yeah, it's for sale. Mom's going up back here. I live in a creepy area. I don't know. Something about like this creepy like little circle. Oh. Uh, I don't like that circle because. Look at this house. Oh, that is. This one's always my favorite though. Oh wow, that one is insane. Like, I love the brick. You're just right there, like the head of the street. I don't know, something about this just like screams just like old fucking colonial. It's beautiful. Oh, that brick is really nice. Overall, people claim to see these spirits just hanging from the rafters or feeling some kind of like spirit presence around you or um, there was one story where uh, somebody said that once they got home and they were like getting ready to go inside, like after going to this bridge, they thought they hadn't experienced anything, but they just see all these like handprints on their car um, when they got home. Okay, we're pulling up to the bridge now. And we're gonna do another uh, that stupid thing that we do. <laughs> the lookout but this is approaching the bridge and the way it, the, it rattles oh yeah well it used to be way creepier before they like restructured it oh, I think like the bar. oh is that like waves reflecting that wasn't a car i don't think what the fuck i definitely see a car um, I see. It's like, bro. Oh, it's coming over there. Yeah. I see it. It's not behind us. It's in front of us. Others say that the bridge has the spirit of these two teenagers who were in love and they it was forbidden and they weren't allowed to be together. So in order to be together forever, they both committed suicide. And some people say that there's a spirit of this little girl carrying a basket or a woman with a badly burned face walking around that people have seen and then also there's stories of this monkey-like creature that hangs out at the top of the bridge and uh, scares away people that he doesn't want there or a red-eyed demon um, almost like a like a mothman kind of thing that just sits at the top of the bridge uh, trying to scare away people oh we oh we're coming up to the bridge again because there was a car Let's try this one more time. So we're gonna do this one more time. Apparently it's just all out and about tonight on Thursday evening. <laughs> this is like more annoying than anything. Go so, home for the night. Go home for the night. Those are gonna be our last words. I swear to God. <laughs> um, yeah, we just pulled up. We're just sitting here. We turn the lights off. Do I see lights? Um, I can't tell. Oh no, I didn't see lights. Now, I'm not sure exactly how often I want to do this just because 
um, I live alone. And so I don't know, I know people are going to like roll their eyes, but this is something that happened that I was just kind of like, well, maybe I need to be a little bit more careful about what I, what I bring to my house. But, um, I had a situation with, I, I went to a civil war battlefield with an ex and some friends and we got home that night and we were both sleeping and, um, I wake up and I'm, I'm a very heavy sleeper. So I can sleep through some stuff, but I woke up because I felt something tap my shoulder like really hard. So it made me, you know, it made me wake up and I turned over to see who it was. And my um, boyfriend at the time was sleeping, like facing the other way. His, he was laying like this with his like arms crossed. And I just, I mean, since then, I kind of felt like I invited something to my house going to the Civil War battlefield and just chilling there and like maybe just not being very, very cautious. So I just w really want to be mindful because I know sometimes like people with when people when there's an energy somewhere, you just don't want it. You don't want to set it off and you want to respect uh, whatever spirits are still kind of hanging around. In, in my opinion, these are my beliefs. And that's where I leave you guys. So let me know in the comments below if you've had some kind of spooky experience. I'd love to hear these stories. Thank you for watching my video today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.